Once again, we're going to give it a long pause. Um, let this uh, weighted LC sink down to the bottom. We're... Oh, I just got... Oh, I'm getting bit. On. Yeah, guys. Um, but yeah, this was perfect. There's no way I would have been able to get this bite without... Unless uh, I was on down on the bottom. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. A spotty. Small little spotty. But there he is. A small little spotted bay bass on the weighted Lucky Craft. How's it going everybody? So in my last episode, I showed you how to modify the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110 and how that can be another option in your arsenal just to up your game and just give you another way of targeting halibut and other fish from the surf. This week's episode, I'm going to be doing an underwater swim test um, in a swimming pool and show both of the Lucky Craft swimming, both the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110 unmodified and the modified and just show the different ways that these two lures swim. So in this pool test, um, these are the two lures that I was uh, throwing. Um, this is the unmodified Flash Minnow 110, the Electric Runyon, um, that's not weighted and the Salty Aurora Black. And these are the two lures that I was throwing in the pool and we're gonna show how each of these swim. So what's the difference between the two? The unmodified and the modified. How are they different? How are they similar? And what makes this unique from the regular Flash Minnow 110? Well, let's go ahead and find out. So we're gonna jump right ahead into the video and we're gonna start off with the unmodified Flash Minnow 110 and we see the electric grunion swimming through. This is in real time. And then we're gonna slow it down. And you can see the wobble, the side to side action. And um, just slowing it down is a good way to be able to see how that lure is swimming under the water. And as you guys already know, the Flash Minnow 110 is a one to two foot diver as a suspending lure. So we'll see one more slow mo footage, slow mo footage and we'll jump right into the Salty Aurora Black, the modified. And those, you see a couple of those in real time and a slowed down footage of the Salty Aurora Black just swimming right above the bottom there. And that's one of the advantages is that you're able to swim that um, across the bottom. Now you see a couple of the slow-mo footage. Um, we see one from up top just to see both the wobble and the shake. And I think that's one thing that's different about the modified Lucky Craft is the side-to-side -side rolling. Now it doesn't roll all the way, but it's a little bit more harsher on the the side to side rolling. Um, we see a couple of side to side side to side now with the unmodified and the modified, and you can see the differences. We're going to run it three times. Here's the second one, and we see the electric onion on the right and the modified on the left, and you can tell the harsher, the sharper barrel roll movements on the modified Lucky Craft. Now we're going to jump into the electric onion here. Um, and this is another way that you can work the regular Lucky Craft is you can give it those hard rod twitches and jerks um, either top down or to the bottom and it's going to cause that Lucky Craft to knife and then it's going to float. Now in the salt water it's going to be much more suspending compared to the pool but you can see how the jerks that I'm doing with the rod is just causing it to knife in the water and then leveling out. And so it's a real sick movement. I've been able to get a lot of bites this way. And you can see the electric running. And that's going to be working it through the water. Um, and again, when we see it next to the modified Lucky Craft, the modified Lucky Craft coming up right here, we're going to see the slow sink. And this sink um, is approximately six inches per second. And you can kind of see the fluttery drop there as it goes all the way down to the bottom. It's now a sinking lure. And then as I start to work that thing across the bottom, you can see it kind of knifing through the bottom of well, the water column. But you can also work it um, in the water column. You can give it the jerks. Obviously, it's going to be sinking. And from here, you can see some of the magic of the modified Lucky Craft. With, with the jerks, you can just see how the Lucky Craft um, has a hard darting movement um, up and then hitting down. You see the nose down, and that's going to help you avoid snags. It's not going to completely eliminate it, but it does um, help you um, avoid those hooks getting into rocks and other structure. But this is really sick action. You can see the hard movement and the hard jabs, the darting movements from left to right, and then the fall, the the downward fall, which can imitate a feeding bait fish or a struggling bait fish. So you can see a couple of different. Um, different views of how that looks 
And you know, this is where the halibut and a lot of the predators are going to be. And when they see the bait fish um, at the bottom of the water column, your opportunity of getting bit is that much higher. These ones, you can see how you can work it through the sand. Um, if you're in a real sandy area, you let that thing drop to the bottom and jerk that rod downward and you're going to get that downward movement. So I hope you found that helpful and interesting. Um, as you can kind of see in the video, um, the unmodified Lucky Craft, the reason why we're using this for the modification is number one, just to increase that casting distance and the ability to work it lower in the water column. We love the 110 because of the side to side wobble, the tight wobble that it has uh, compared to something like the 115, which is a, is a diving lure. It does go down to the bottom, it's a sinking, but the action on it is just much wider and it's a viable option it's a great lure um, but there's something about the the tight wobble that the 110 has that can just be so powerful um, in terms of its effectiveness and one thing that i think you picked up in the video in the underwater footage is um, with the modified the tight wobble is still present but one thing that's different in the way it swims compared to the unmodified 110 is the rolling from side to side now it doesn't roll all the way which is what we're trying to avoid and this modification will does prevent that um, but it the rolling from the side to side is much more pronounced it's a much sharper larger roll and so that's one thing that's different about it but it still maintains that tight wobble and then the real cool thing about it is um, at a six inches per second on the drop i've actually gotten bit on the drop um, it kind of flutters down to the bottom. And once you get it down to the bottom of the water column on the sand with the rod tip, just jerking it up or moving it from side to side, um, it causes it to jump up and then dive nose down. And it has a real hard darting action from side to side and can imitate feeding bait fish, struggling bait fish, um, a real effective weapon. So um, again, it's just another option to have. And I do believe that it's just another bullet that um, you can have in your arsenal that can just really up your game. Um, so I'll be having both of these in my tackle box and just be using both. But so far I love this. Um, it catches fish guys for sure. I've been able to catch a handful of fish. Um, nothing too crazy, a uh, legal sand bass, which you saw in my previous video, um, a little surf perch and a uh, spotted bay bass that I caught in the bay. But I have friends who've caught multiple, multiple, multiple legal halibut on it. Um, and so I know this modification works. I'll be continuing to use it. Um, would love to hear your feedback. What did you think about the footage? Um, what did you think about the action of the modified Lucky Craft? Would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Um, thanks so much for checking out the video, guys. As always, thank you so much for your support. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Tie lines.